going to see how to install NTOPNG package on a FreeBSD based firewall called OPNSense. Installation instructions are available in the NTOPNG manual under third party integration OPNSense. So let's start. The first thing we can do is to just add the package repository to our OPNSense firewall. We can do this simply by accessing our firewall via SSH, typing 8 to open a shell, and just doing package add and this URL. So that's pretty much everything that is needed on the shell. Now we can go back to our web based interface of OPN Sense and we can start installing the NTOP package as a plugin of OPN Sense. How to do this? Well, first of all, we can visit the page System, Firmware, Plugins, and check for updates. This will cause our OPN Sense firewall to fetch the newly available packages inside the repository we have just installed. Okay, now that the plugins have been checked for updates, we can install a couple of packages, namely OS and TopNG Enterprise and OS Redis, which is a dependency of NTOPNG. So we look for OS and TopNG Enterprise, we click plus and install. Now the installation procedure starts and we just wait, we just have to wait a bunch of seconds. So the installation is almost completed. Okay, everything is installed. We now go back to the plugins page and also install Redis because, as I have mentioned, Redis is a dependency of NTOPNG and NTOPNG must have Redis up and running to properly work and execute. So, uh, Redis installation is completed and TopNG installation is completed. We can refresh the page so that this will cause new services to appear here and indeed now we have NTOPNG Enterprise and Redis. First of all, let's make sure Redis is up and running. Redis is enabled. Let's see if it's running in the lobby dashboard. Da -da -da. Redis, we can start Redis. Okay, so from this point on, everything is ready for our NTOPNG to start and execute. Let's check it out. We have two pages here, settings and log files. Under settings, we find under the general tab, we find general and top NG configuration. And under the license tab, we find license configuration of NTOP NG. So this basically, in this license key, you can place a valid license key that unlocks a professional or enterprise version of NTOP NG. You can follow the license generation instructions using the links at the bottom of this tab. Currently, the license the installed license key is unlocking an enterprise L version of NTOPNG. So let's go back to the general page. We can tick enable NTOPNG. We can untick connect to Mprobe. We will see in another video tutorial how to connect NTOPNG to Mprobe. And yes, we can just enable NTOPNG, specify an HTTP or HTTPS port, and decide if we want to run our NTOPNG using plain HTTP or HTTPS, that I would recommend using HTTPS. Now everything is ready, we can click Save. And so this will save the current settings and start the NTOPNG installation. Everything is uh, saved. We can go back to the lobby and check our services and we see that also our NTOPNG is running. 
So, basically, we are done. We can just click here to open the web interface. And this will bring us to a web page of NTOPNG over HTTPS. And that's pretty much all. Here we have all our interface monitored, the LAN, the WAN, and everything. And we can just start browsing the traffic that is flowing through our NTOPNG. So this is basically everything that is needed to run NTOPNG on an OPM Sense firewall.